trim. I'm probably putting out another 30 horsepower. Got a lot more uh, trim in the car. The slip under him into there. Fire cell there, okay. We're up on the rear of the DSX 1100 here. We're a little bit wide there, but watch out, we'll pick him up going down this road. They're capable of about one second. Today they practice, tomorrow and Sunday they'll race. Bathurst is an old town and it's been hosting or at least tolerating the Easter races for exactly 50 years. But over that time the tolerance and tempers have sometimes become a little frayed. Well, at one time here they attempted to blow the Carillion up with dynamite. Uh, they the Carillion? The Carillion's the bell tower in the park there. Uh, oh, hooliganism. Vandalism in the park, they got in the Baroni house and smashed all the Baroni house up. Different things like that, just acts of willful vandalism. One year they took all the seats out of McCaddy Park and threw them into the fish pond and uh, broke the eggs that the uh, swans had laid and, you know, and sometimes you just think to yourself, oh well, you know, I won't get amongst that. But it's good for the young people, it's good for the town. Oh, well, you get violence with any crowd, no, you don't matter what it what functions goes on, there's always violence, isn't there? And a lot of the, the young people who come here are just ordinary, decent people. We don't hold it against a lot of them. We do, oh, no. do regret the, the rough element that, uh, that play up and, and perhaps give the, the city a bad name. Well, really, they don't cause any trouble to most of the people in town. It's just they cause trouble in a small part of the town. It's mainly at the Mount, I'd say. Thousands of gallons of beer will be drunk over the next three days. Some will drink it with their meals, others will drink it instead of them, and a few will remain paralytically drunk for the whole time. But it's simply untrue to paint all the Bathurst arrivals as powerful thirsts on powerful motorcycles. Many have ridden for days, hundreds, even thousands of miles, just to see the racing and to meet again with friends from previous years. That's not to say, of course, that this is a teetotaler's pilgrimage. The secret is to stay just on the right side of the law. Oh, yeah, saw those. Passed somebody and, uh, and they blocked me. <laughs> for the spectators, arriving means the end of their motorcycling for three days. For the other half, down on the track, the long rides are just beginning. Dennis Neal, still practicing and still the big Honda isn't right. This will be a Bathurst which Neil will not quickly forget. Ron Bolden won the Senior Grand Prix here last year. 
and Greg Pretty from Phoenix, South Australia, forming with Neil and Bolden the three to beat. Make that guard point uh, grab on your tyres there. You might want to have a good look at them. All the machines are officially inspected, for a racing motorcycle is a mass of potential weak links. Only a tiny patch of rubber touches the ground at any time. Stranded cables and lightweight rods control the most crucial functions of clutch, brakes and throttle. Failure of just one of these components on a true racing circuit would be bad enough. But on the collection of ordinary roads, which is Bathurst, there are fences, power poles, ditches, culverts and armco barriers, edging a road designed for Sunday driving. Then there's the mechanics who must ensure that everything is just as it should be. To understand their responsibility to their rider, take a lift to the top of a 20-storey building and on the way up, think about the mechanic who last checked the cable. If you may return to the pit, no other two members are permitted on the track other than those specified in this, this section. Only if the team member enters the track at right, only if the team member enters the track at any time, the rider will be black flagged. What we're saying is that we don't want to be Tom Dick and Harry racing out on the circuit. That's really an answer to the question that Moyna, the Moyna uh, asked. She got in too early there, but uh, all of the pit crew stay in the pits. The co-rider and the rider are the only ones who have access to the circuit. Well, the big thing is that it's so totally different from any other circuit. It's not something you just come to for the race meeting on the weekend. It's a you know, full atmosphere. It's, it's a week-long atmosphere. It's something you build yourself up to all the time. Track's demanding, it's fast, and it's got everything there that a uh, racer wants. We really never race on a track anywhere near as fast as this. So uh, it's a circuit where a lot of guys who can go good on the tight tracks necessarily might go very well up here. It's very much who's got the biggest heart, I think. It's a matter of getting yourself sorted out and being as smooth as you can. The big thing you learn here is that if someone's going quicker than you, you, know, you just ride at what you can. You don't try to catch them because it's not a tractor. You try to overextend yourself. You ride to your limit and that's all. By Saturday, Bathurst's population has doubled. Today the racing begins, and whatever the local feeling about the descending hordes, there's the inescapable fact that every motorcyclist will need fast food, drink and somewhere to sleep. It all means money for the town. Perhaps the motorcyclists do make the place look untidy, but you won't find many service stations or milk bars or pubs closing in protest. The big race this morning is the Unlimited Grand Prix, a 60-kilometre shake.